I just did a box opening the other day because, well, I received a package. <laughs> but this one came too, yay! Um, this is a Basak, Basak, I don't know how to pronounce it, Bly. They're, they're not like factory fakes, but they're like fake fakes, like <laughs> a whole different thing. So I thought it'd be interesting to buy one and see what they're like. I've never had like a Basak Blythe or an Icy Doll. I've only really ever bought Takara Blythe or factory versions of Takara Blythe. So this would be interesting. I actually bought this one. So I'll just check if I'm in focus. So I actually bought this one off Wish. Just for fun. There's a lot of good reviews and a lot of people were happy with them and saying that they were going to collect them. I was like, okay, they can't be that bad then. So first off, I'm pretty impressed with the packaging. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get her out still. Oh wait. I don't know which one I got. So the seller just sends you one at random. Wait, I can see she has a green box. It's really cute. It kind of reminds me of like Retro Blythe back in the EBL days. I don't know how I should open this. So I'll put the seller's link down below. Okay, so I got her out of the glad wrap. <laughs> I don't know where my camera cut off, but we're starting from here. So just get a close up of her packaging. It's very retro blithe and I'm loving it. It's got little clover windows. I think you can tell by her face if it will focus. She looks similar to Blythe, but not quite right. It's a little bit off the proportions. Okay, let's get her out. I already cut the tape because I was so excited. <laughs> the main reason I bought her is literally just for fun. Like saying I'm going to customize her is just an excuse. I just want to buy one and see what they like. I actually think these are a great alternative to factory dolls for a young child. If you've got like a new nephew or even your own child who likes flights. And these are great. They come in their own little boxes. They have, they have shoes and a spare outfit. Oh, she even has a stand. So this is her stand. Feel focus. Hello. It's very interesting. And then she's got one outfit. I'm just going to take it off. So this is her spare outfit. It's like a little sweater dress thing. They're like, oops, they're gonna focus. Yes. They look like little pink Barbie shoes. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I was gonna open it up and show you guys, but I can't do anything with these stupid nails. <laughs> so I'm just gonna zoom in. Like little plastic Barbie heels. Okay, let's get her out. Oh. Okay, well, right off the bat, her plastic feels a lot different. It's a more, like, Barbie plastic. Oh my gosh, I hate these things. Okay. And her head is pink.
Okay, I'm not going to do that. Everything looks so rough on camera, like I'm watching myself do that and cringing. So, here she is. She's very, um, monotone. Okay, like I said, she feels really Barbie-like. Her legs are really stiff. I actually don't know if they bend. Oh, they don't. Okay. So her legs don't bend. Oh, wait, they do a little bit. Maybe one's really still stiff. That's the most I can get it to bend. It's really stiff. Her arms. So she's got like a little, literally like a Barbie. She comes out that way. But no bend. Don't eat that baby. It's dangerous. So she's like super shiny. <laughs> you think Takara can't get shinier? These ones are shinier. How about her pull cord? Okay, here it is. So let's see. Right now she's got orange eyes. Sorry, angle. It's like a very icy blue. They look white on camera, but they're just very icy. Oh, okay. And her eye mech. Okay. <laughs> her string snapped. We'll just roll it with her hands. Poor girl. She had a bit of a shock. Next is... It's like a classic deep blue. And green. Let's keep her... Then let's keep on the green. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Okay. Her hair's pretty thin, but it's really soft. It actually feels really nice. It's really silky. You can see her plugs, but it's okay if she keeps it down. Um, let's close up of her face. Her clothes are actually not that bad of a quality. They're really not that bad. Sorry, I'm just getting her naked so we can have a better look at her body. So that's her dress. It's making... It sounds like those baby toys. <laughs> I don't know why. So there's her body. You can see it's very, very Barbie-like. I think I've said that a few times already. I don't know what I was expecting from these dolls, but... I don't think I was expecting this. I didn't expect her pull ring to snap off. <laughs> her pull cord, sorry, but that's okay. And if you have a look, her face is actually her face. Her hair's kind of opened a bit. I'm not sure why. It was like a brown smudge over here if you can see it right over there here we go that's better so i don't really know why her head's not really closed properly it's kind of like half closed on this side i don't know should we open her up and see yeah let's open her up okay i'll be back with her head open yay all right so i've got her head open you can see a little screws next to her. She only has two screws, whereas like a normal Blythe will have three. Which is pretty easy to open. I just like put a bit of pressure with my hands like this and twisted her body and she's pretty much there. So there's her neck. If any of you want to customize it. Oh my gosh, it's so stiff. Oh, I don't know if you can see. There's like black ink. Okay, just need a little bit of force. So there's the inside of her head. 
it looks really similar to a blight actually sorry <laughs> I'm not showing you guys anything it looks really similar to a blight that's a better view of the icy blue chips too I don't really know why her I make snapped still and I don't know why there's all this like this black ink in her head I don't know if you can... Okay, you can't see. Oh, wait, that's because it's here. All these little bits are like black ink. Don't really know why. Yeah, so she's really easy to open. <laughs> I don't really know what the point of me opening her was. I guess this one's curious. She's really easy to open. I can imagine her sculpt would be easy to take off as well if you want to like completely transform her. Oops. Okay, we're just gonna leave her head off. The spring came loose. Yeah, that was an experience. I don't really know what the point of me opening her was. I don't really know why I bought her except for curiosity. <laughs> but that's pretty much it that's her i might try and customize her maybe i'll do a giveaway maybe i'll give away her and a factory doll i don't know we'll see but thanks for watching guys i have one more video coming up that's planned there might be some unplanned ones and hopefully i can get that out soon i hope this was somewhat useful oh my gosh i didn't put it on her stand before i go let's try her stand i don't really oh okay it's really simple. It's actually quite nice. It's really sturdy. Okay. I think that's everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was somewhat useful or entertaining or just was a good waste of your time. <laughs> Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.